Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing workflow. This is basically the upgraded version of the LTXV workflow that I provided some days back. Now this has two main components. Firstly, I have added the upscaler. Secondly, as you all know that LTXV actually LTX Video released their distilled models, which is kind of like uh, the turbo version. And uh, I am using it as a LoRa. You can also use the main models. I'll explain everything how to use it and I'll also show the exp uh, the final output and the comparison between uh, the tur distilled version, which is like the turbo, and if I bypass that LoRa. So let's get started. Firstly, you'll get the link to this workflow and all the models in the description box below. So don't worry about it. I am using the LoRa version because I wanted to use it with the GGUF. But if you want, here you can see. There are many versions. So there is the distilled FP8, there is the distilled LoRa, and then there is the distilled normal version, which is 28.6 GB. And I think this is going to be huge for most of the uh, users out there because they would not have such large VRAM. So for me, I wanted to demonstrate uh, this this complete workflow on 8 GB of VRAM because most of the people have 8 GB or less VRAM. So. I am using the Q4KS version of GGUF with the power loader uh, node here, the LoRa 1. You can see this is the 128 LoRa. But again, the more VRAM you have, if you have 16 GB of VRAM or 24 GB of VRAM, you should go for the higher GGUF or the full models here. If you are not choosing for GGUF. Q6 or Q8 would be great if you use but then again you can use whatever you like accordingly so for this if you guys do not know you'll get the links for the vae and everything as well so you just need to go to the vae and download the vae here and the clip here in this part you can see you are using the upscaler model that you will download from here now here you can see there are two types of uh, upscalers one is the spatial and one is the temporal spatial is used to increase the resolution uh, of the video like the clarity and resolution temporal uh, is for the lens so it actually generates frames so it is like if you want to create longer videos or something like that then you can use the temporal one so for this example i am using the spatial and here you can see the factor now let's get the comparison started of uh, this LoRa and without the LoRa. So for this one thing that you need to understand is that what is the prompt? The prompt is beautiful woman turns around slowly showing her outfit. This is the same for everything and all the other parameters are actually same. If you look here the noise seed and here you will see the noise seed everything else is same right. Now let's start with without this particular distilled LoRa the reason it is so fast is for the basic scheduler I am using just 8 steps and generally in the previous workflow you would have seen I was using 30 steps but this is now 8 steps now this is the image one thing you can see is that it tries to follow the prompt uh, like the prompt coherency is somewhat better you can understand but it messes up the whole structure and everything like she is turning to show her outfit but the hands legs everything is completely messed up as you can see right and this is the same thing you can see it uh, slightly smoothens out and like uh, creates a little bit of high resolution it tries to create that but the problem is that you can see there are no fingers nothing and this is without the LoRa but uh, remember like uh, why when you should need uh, when you should use the LoRa when you should use the fo uh, full model with 30 steps she is actually turning here right now let's come to the LoRa workflow here you can see it is the same woman turns around slowly showing her outfit but the problem is she is not turning around the model particularly chose to go with the prompt of showing her outfit that's it now this has way more clarity than whatever is happening here so if you would see this the prompt coherency and everything 
is not as good as uh, this one but the clarity is good the fingers are there the legs are there so basically the video is not messed up even if it is not following the prompt exactly so this is the main difference but it creates uh, like it takes some part of the prompt and then tries to create a video out of it sometimes you can see these jagged lines like slightly white lines or pixels or stuff like that so this happens and if you go to the, the higher models you can somehow fix it uh, you just need a very like uh, either you need a good model in terms of like the larger models quantized versions and you would uh, need good vram after that here you can see i am using the spatial upscaler the factor of 0.25 noise seed and everything is same now one thing here this was actually in their workflow which i modified which was provided here only and uh, i'll show you one thing so basically uh, what they mentioned and this kind of works is that if you are not constrained in vram right run one one is to one tiles step 18 this is the step and if you are constrained in your available vram run 2 by 2 tiles somewhat lower noise levels starting from 23 so you would increase this to step 23 and you can do this 2 by 2 right so you can do that you can change this for some reason this was not working although this should be optional but it was not working so i just uh, added one input here for width and i am doing the tile size as 768 by 768 if you increase it too much sometimes uh, increasing it too much will give you like uh, out of memory error so you can use it like 512 768 whatever you like and with that you can see we get this one now this is not exactly perfect right but still this is somewhat better than this because here you can see it uh, like even if it is trying to follow the prompt uh, the legs are getting messed up with the bed and things like that here you feel like the camera panning is somewhat realistic so this is the complete workflow use it and you will have all the links in the description download it from here the va is pre present here and i'll also provide the link for this ggof clip t5 double xl and try it and if you have any kind of doubt or any kind of issues uh, put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you